Sellers must obtain approval from Amazon before listing in the grocery and gourmet foods category. We want to make sure our customers can buy from any seller with confidence. Our category requirements reflect customer concerns about product quality, product branding, and food safety. This video will review the seller requirements, product requirements, and the documentation required to sell in grocery and gourmet foods. First, let's take a look at the seller requirements. You should be registered as a professional seller. You'll need valid invoices and other information about the products you intend to sell. If you're already selling on Amazon, you'll need to meet these performance targets. An order defect rate less than 1%, a pre-fulfillment cancel rate of less than 2.5%, and a late shipment rate of less than 4%. New sellers will need to meet these same targets once they begin selling. Check out the Seller Account Health video series in Seller University for more information on performance metrics. Finally, it's not required, but if you have a company website, it'll be helpful for Amazon to review it during the application process. Next, let's take a look at the product requirements for the grocery and gourmet foods category. All foods and beverages must be properly prepared, sealed, packaged, and labeled. Products must be listed with the manufacturer's UPC codes. If you don't have UPCs for your products, check out the Amazon brand registry videos in SellerU for infos on listing products without UPCs. Products must be sold in new condition. Used listings are not permitted. All grocery products must include product labeling in English that complies with applicable federal, state, and local laws. Frozen items must be shipped in dry ice and enclosed in appropriate packaging to preserve a safe product temperature through end delivery to the customer. Frozen items may only be shipped Monday through Wednesday and must ship using an appropriate expedited shipping method. Lot-controlled products must have a shelf life of greater than 90 days, a bit more on shelf life. Perishable products must be removed from inventory 50 days prior to the expiration date and may not be sold or shipped thereafter. For Amazon fulfilled orders, units within 50 days of expiration will be removed for disposal and will not be available for return. Finally, understand that you'll be responsible for ensuring your products and business operations comply with all applicable federal and state laws, even if they're not specifically described in Amazon policies. Now that we've covered the seller and product requirements, let's walk through the documentation you'll need to provide to Amazon during the application process. The first option is to provide Amazon with three separate invoices for the products you intend to sell. Make sure these are all valid invoices, purchase orders, sales invoices, or commercial invoices showing a quantity of at least 30 units and including the following. A date within the past 90 days, a document issuer's name, address, phone number, email, or website, a seller name or business name matching the information found within your Seller Central account, and finally, contact information for your business, such as an address, phone number, email, or website. Please note that Amazon cannot accept retail receipts, packing slips, sales orders, invoices from an online retailer, or pro forma invoices sent in advance of a shipment or delivery of goods. If you don't have three invoices, then your second option is to provide two invoices plus one additional piece of information. The additional information can include a business website URL, the business address of your storefront or office, the business address of your manufacturing plant, business certification showing that your business is registered, such as a business or sales use tax license, or a home occupation permit if you work out of your home. If you're not able to provide any invoices, your third option is to provide either an FDA certification registration document or a new dietary ingredient notification document along with one of the pieces of additional information we just mentioned. And that does it. If you can meet all of these requirements, you're ready to apply. Visit the Grocery and Gourmet Foods help page in Seller Central to get started. Just do a quick search on category approval, then click the categories and products requiring approval result, selecting Grocery and Gourmet Foods. Here you'll find a recap of the information in this video. Click Request Approval at the bottom of the page to start your application. Once you've submitted your application, Amazon may contact you requesting more information. Happy selling! Thank you.